Hi, my name is Tony Themelis. I work at Digital Guardian. Uh, my title is Vice President of Product Management. We offer uh, threat aware data security solutions to uh, large customers. And I'm here to talk about our journey with Windows as a Service. The timeline starts back in 2015 when Microsoft first introduced Windows 10. Windows 10, Threshold 1 and Threshold 2 were introduced in mid and late 2015. Uh, Digital Guardian's first product that actually supported Windows 10 came out in March of 2016. So we're talking about an eight month delay with respect to the time between when Microsoft introduced and when we introduced our product. If you fast forward after that and can see that Windows 10 Redstone 1 came out in end of July. Digital Guardian's support for it was in end of November 2016, so that's about a three month delay. So we went from an eight month to a three month delay within about a year. Fast forward to 2017, and what you can see is that we've actually introduced preview support for Redstone 2 already in March of 2017, before Redstone 2 was actually released by Microsoft. From our perspective, this is an amazing transformation. In other words, we've been able to go from eight months delay in supporting an operating system to literally being day one support. And that's really a big deal because Microsoft is giving us the tools that we need in order to get there. And on our side, we're adjusting our process to take advantage of that so that we can offer day one support for Windows as a Service and Windows 10. By getting earlier in the product development lifecycle and, and really integrating with Microsoft's product development lifecycle, we are, are able to both secure the data and at the same time provide users with the latest and greatest software, the latest and greatest resources, and also provide them with access to the latest threat intelligence we are always going to be ahead of the game with respect to Windows as a Service going forward. 